Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 56 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we looked for the Mahi Mahi and the Giant Trevally, but we didn't end up doing it. And in this episode, we're gonna do the same thing, but apparently, they're more common when it rains. So that is good. Ha! Huh. So, but anyway, um... Uh, speaking of numbers, and like... Whatever. I found out something weird about last episode. Last episode was episode 55. And- Whoa, it's lightning! There's lightning! Oh, anyway. It was on 55... It was episode 55, and it was recorded on the fifth day of the fifth month. Isn't that crazy? It's a weird co coincidence. Anyway, today's birthday is Tank. Now, this is not his card, but it, this is a button. I have made various buttons themed around some of my favorite Animal Crossing characters, and he's been, he's been in one of my towns. So I thought I made one, make one of him. So anyway, yeah, happy birthday, Tank. I think, I think I'll wear the button today to show my respects to Tank. Because he was in my first ever town. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Right now on Jack Town, it's 4.28 p.m. on Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... Oh! Have you ever peeled some fruit and managed to keep the whole peel connected? Earlier I did just that! Two days in a row?! Wow! Eh, uh, oh dear. I guess that doesn't really qualify as news, does it? That's all for now. I hope you enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Oh no, but it, it, it there's lightning. I wonder what that means. I'm probably gonna get a phone call. Look how heavy this downpour is. Oh no, I didn't. Anyway. Yeah, I already have this KK song. I still bought it. Cause I'm a a uh, doofy person. Anyway, whoa, that's kind of scary. Anyway, let's do our daily doings. Is Red here? No! When is this fox gonna come? Anyway, I improved the island a little bit off screen. I added more to the orchard. Now there is also money tree. Uh, um, I mean a money tree section. Oh, and oh, by the way, I forgot to get the manila clams. But I did get the last scorpion I needed to get a scorpion model. So that's good. I don't know what's going to happen on the lightning day. It's kind of spooky. Not even the locusts are out. Just to make sure, is he here? When is he gonna come? Is it that he's never gonna come? Ooh. After this video, I'm gonna make a, whoa, wait, what? After this list, I'm gonna make a video. I, I'm not a video, a list about how I'm uh, not about like of all the fossils I am yet to have to collect so I know how many I need what I'm looking out for anyway I improved the campsite area so let's look up there that would also be a good excuse to show you all of it <laughs> and there are a fossil so anyway, I just reduced it down to one little pond here. And I'm hoping to put it, no, I, I, I mean, I'm, in the future I'm gonna put a incline here up to this area where the campsite is. And we have this. 
Yeah, super cool. Super duper cool, you might even say. Oh yeah, the locusts are out. So anyway, let's let, let's uh, let the fight begin between me and the giant trevally and the mahi mahi. Any clams? Oh wait, any pocket space? Ah no. I guess I'm gonna have to sell some stuff and then whatever. I I I don't need that much space to go hunting with. Uh, Manila clams. Can Manila clams even come out when it's raining? I am not seeing any. Any clams of Manila? Any clams of vanilla? As they say in Brooklyn, Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. Anyway, here is a. DIY recipe. Golden dishes. Oh, I already have that. Oh, right, that's the thing that needs a golden nugget. Hello, Peaches. Wait, was she thinking about something? No. Wow, it's so weird when it's raining. Like, this hot, this big. Not this big. Ah, uh, grammar, Jack. It's it's weird when it's raining this much. Anyway, here is a uh, money tree. Oh, it looks like the mail came in. Oh, right, what am I doing? I need to look at the shop. Ooh, but first there is a fossil. And I must have fossils. Oh, the fossils. Ooh, there's a pond skater. We don't need those. Oh, two manila clams at the same time. Oh, and I just missed them. Ooh, a piano. And a blender. Let's see. Overpriced piano? Let me guess. It's overpriced. Grand piano. Yep, that's going to be overpriced. Yep, $260,000. Actually, I'll pass. Let's see, how how much is this blender? Because this would go good in my kitchen. A mixer. Eh. You know what? I'm just going to start collecting these nets. Because they're, they're really cool, and I've always wanted to, really. A colorful net. Let's buy it. They would go good in our campsite because... Butterfly activities are one of the best or some of the best activities at our campsite So yeah last night I didn't go scorpion farming, but I just found a scorpion. So yeah, I got the last one I needed Hopefully flick is here today He's probably oh yes, he is <laughs> I was about to say he's probably not but here he is. Anyway, the reason I said I was gonna say probably not is because there is usually one at the end of the week and usually one at the beginning of the week. But um, today is like the middle of the week, so <sighs> yep, it's changed up. Anyway, let's get ourselves three spectacular scorpions to give to him. Wow, not only was that surprising, but it was right on cue. I was just talking about him, and then he just shows up. Anyway, I'm not going to be selling the, uh, the two tarantulas, just in case I need a tarantula for a project. Yeah, I, 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 I'm saving those, because, yeah, you know, they're not here anymore. They've been replaced by scorpions. Anyway, wait, did I grab them all? Yeah, there. So tomorrow we should be able to get a scorpion model, and that'll be the tarantula room almost complete. That's right, almost. There's still two more pieces that we need to get after. Ooh, look, my flowers are in. Um, 
there are still well, there will still be two more pieces I need after, and that is the Scorpio lamp. Uh, as you can see in my DIY recipes, there is the um Aries rocking chair and the Taurus bath Taurus bathtub. This is the Gemini stuff. And one of those is Scorpio, and I thought, hey, it's cool and it looks like a scorpion, so why not? I I put it in it when I put it in the room when I get it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just excited. Oh yeah, I put fences in between the trees. Anyway, uh, the other one is the throne, but that's a really overpriced item. So yeah, I need it because <laughs> it's a throne, but it'll probably not be for a while. Anyway, Flick, hello. Oh, hey, remember me, Flick. The guy who loves bugs in all their skittery, chittery, sometimes glittery glory. I'm still looking for my soul bug, the one to be my artistic inspiration and lift me to ever more art. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh. And if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. Commission a piece. Oh, I see. The time has come for we two travelers to begin our journey together. What bug have you chosen to act as our guide? It's not a bug, it's an arachnid. And it is the scorpion. Noble scorpion. Can you part with three of them? They will be happy and safe with me. Yes. And let me guess, our contract is bound. Human... whatever. Scored commission. I mean, um... And so our contract is bound. Human. Ah, uh, of course. Flick. Already I feel the ore consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my becoldent blood. By the way, I l really like his pants. His pants look really cool and tight. When I have completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the scorpion by mail. Okay, I can't wait for that. Anyway, too bad it's raining. We can't really look out for too many bugs. But tonight, I will go scorpion farming and not, uh, again. And hopefully, I will have enough money to pay off my house. And that's going to fix a lot of the, this pro these problems of, like, storage. And we should also get an upstairs. And then after that, after, um... We get our upstairs there is only one more expansion that we need and that is the downstairs and then our, our house is complete we don't need anything else except for the furniture then we're free of debt well still we gotta build the inclines and the bridges but still free of debt Oof, just one second gotta position myself correctly Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. Oh wait, how many fossils do we have? We have not enough. Anyway, the floor light. I forgot about that. I know exactly where to put it. Noble floor light. And it would be perfect because it's dark right now. Like right in front of this here cool creature cool little critter oh there look at that that's beautiful i just need a couple more like to go in front of it as well and it'll be perfect oh flick how did he get that oh wait it's not that far i forgot like i forgot like this is a new island layout anyway where is that last fossil. Ooh, there's some places that I haven't looked. For example, I haven't looked near Jack's Park. It might be there. Wait, what was that? Ah, oh, that's good. 
Anyway, let's look in the Able Sisters to see if they have anything cool, Leo. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. An eye patch, I guess that's cool, but I'm really here to talk to Sable. Hey, I have a little present for you, Jack. <gasps> Finally, I got the end game thing for talking to Sable! Yeah! It's some patterned fabric. I made it myself. You know how you can customize furniture by switching out the parts that are made of fabric? I thought you might want to use my fabric for doing that. I also made lots of different kinds of patterns, so if you see one you like, please feel free to use it. Anytime you're customizing furniture at a workbench, just select Pattern to choose one you like. But it's not like you can use it on all furniture. It varies from piece to piece. I worked really hard making these. I hope you like using them. Okay, so that's the end game thing for... Thanks, please come again. That's the pretty much end game thing for talking to Sable. You get patterns, and I'm pretty sure you get she gives you um um one every day that you talk to her until like she runs out. But anyway, let's go home and try to use all these patterns. Use some of them, I mean. And I know. Ooh, actually, I want to go to the shop because I saw a pillow, and that pillow might be useful uh, to use the patterns on. I'm still looking out for that last fossil. Oh, Cranny! What, what was that? Oh, Cranny? <laughs> Okay, this pillow. Cushion. 300 bells, I'll buy that. I think I would like that in my house too if it had a better design. And I think I save all right, I need to go back in because of, I need a customization kit. I probably only need one, so I'm only gonna buy one. Because it's like a small thing, only worth 300 bells, so yeah. I would like to buy one customization kit. Wow. <laughs> the customization kit is more than the pillow. Ah, uh, I need emptier pockets. I would like to sell this, 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 this. Ooh, cool. That's a lot of bells. Oh, look, and I'll have exactly 26,000 after this. What am I doing? I'm not even building, um, uh, uh, my, uh, not building. I mean, I'm not even looking for the Mahi Mahi, but that's okay. I mean, uh, like, really. It, it's, I, I, I'm okay with that. Because I'm having fun, and that at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Actually, I might have the nets somewhere else. Ooh, maybe, like, ooh, maybe, I don't know, like, Oh, I know. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Where to put them? Like, there are so many good places that I could put them. How about... I'll think about it later. Where was I going? Oh, right over here. Let's go customize this pillow. Hopefully it is customizable. <laughs> and, and I just didn't waste all my money. Anyway... It wouldn't be wasting because, like, the pillow's nice, and it looks like we can. The cushion is customizable. Oh, and look at the new patterns. That ooh, floral. There's still some. There are some other cool things, but 
Ooh, butterfly, but let's see what sort of pattern she has. So pizza, skulls, planets, uh, sushi, um, anchors, puzzles. I like the anchors one. That one's pretty nice. I think I'm gonna go with the anchors. Yeah, and I, and I, and, um, I was right, it only took one. Oh, I need to go back to here. I think I will store out my store my nets at the. Uh, oops, uh, uh, campground. Anyway, let's start making fishing bait, cause that mahi mahi and giant trevally they're not gonna catch themselves, are they? I, I wish they would catch themselves and donate themselves, but hey, I, I can't. I, they can't do that. They're they're. They, they, they can't walk on land. I, be, I bet they'd want to be in the museum. <laughs> what? Like, I don't understand this. I mean, like, I think the museum is a dream for a fish. Like, why are they trying to evade us? Like, it's amazing. M maybe the bugs don't think that, but... I mean, maybe the bugs and fish don't think that. Maybe they don't know that I am going to do oh, uh, donate them, but still... Anyway, here is a complete DRR projects. Anyway, how many balloons do we have? Because I'm really close to getting that golden slingshot. Ooh, 262. Only... Um... 38 more. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. 38 more, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, here is our money spot for today. Let's rebury it. I always do... Oh, right, I didn't even... Speaking of balloons, I didn't even open the present. That's eh, just a shirt. Actually, I should wear that shirt. I'm currently not wearing a shirt. Ah, that's nice. Anyway, where is this last fossil? I'll drop that off. I'll drop the. I'll drop this net off. Uh, and look. I'll drop the net off and then look for the fossil, and hopefully find the fossil. And then I'll start giant travolling and mahi mahiing. That sounds like a dance. The mahi mahi. Do the mahi mahi. Guys, I can see you do it at home. Right. This is the ma. Th okay, I need to make a mahi mahi dance. That's the best I can come up with. Anyway, do the mahi mahi, guys. Oh, I found a name for the episode, guys. <laughs> By the way, that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the episode. Do the ma <laughs> the mahi mahi. Anyway, the question. Anyway, the question is, where should I put the nets? Next to next to the garden, I feel like. You know what? Everywhere I should have like a little place where I put all the cool tools. So that's the area where I have all the cool watering cans, and this is the place where I have all the cool nets. Colorful net, place item. I think I'll move the saber tooth tiger eventually. But <laughs> I just decided to put it there. So it's staying there for a second. There, that's a cool net. I wonder what it feels like to be in that net. I wish I was a bug so I can find out. Anyway, did I miss the fossil and it's just over here? Oh, fossil, fossil, fossil! Come here, fossily. Anyway, I'll look out for it. It might, I might have to look a little harder. Hmm. Anyway, I'll do the, I'll do the mahi mahi. And then look for a mahi mahi. And then I'll find the fossil.
Anyway, here is the fishing rod, and here is the fish bait. Nope. By the way, the Mahi Mahi is huge. I don't think I've explained that. I mean, they're both huge. Ah, just a sea bass. Like, the Mahi Mahi's green, so I keep thinking, Ah, oh, the Mahi Mahi! Nope. Not a chance. No, I guess I'm gonna he keep having to mahi mahi for the next couple of episodes, huh? huh? <laughs> By the way, this is like, like this is like probably one of the most productive episodes ever. And I stopped half of, like, I doing, I only half of the episode is dancing. So, yeah, this is definitely the most productive episode. Oh, thanks! Wait. Hey, this is out of, hey, Jack, this is out of nowhere, but do you want to buy my sandcastle? How much? Um. Eh, I guess that's nice. I really, that really sounds cool. So I really want it, a sand castle. And plus, I'm, tonight I'm gonna get a lot of uh, money from scorpion farming, unless I forget, like I always do. Anyway, I'm gonna get a lot of money for sc scorpion farming. So, yeah. And is this considered the pier? Because if it is, that might be something. Yeah, it's probably not considered the pier, but just in case you gotta do it. Nope. That's not considered a pier. Or it is, and I just didn't see get any thing good. Which is probably it if, if yeah, if it Oh, that's so cool. Ah, uh, look how cool that sand castle is there. Yeah, right, that's staying there. That's a really cool item. Oh, right, I forgot to place down my cushion in my house. My cushion. You need a cushion. I got a cushion. You need a cushion. Right, you know what? Th this is, that's a really good song. And you know what songs are for? Dancing! Do the mahi mahi. Oh yeah, I see you doing it at home. Come on, do it with me. I see you do it at home. Come on, Bob. I see you. You're not doing it. Come on, come on, join, join it, join it. Anyway, let's go into decorator mode. Cause, um, wait. I don't need to go into decorator mode. I can just place it right here. Actually, I have a better idea. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, here's my cushion. Ah, that's cool. I think it should be somewhere else, though. How about... Um... Mm, I don't see another place. How about it replaces something over here? Or something... You know, it's okay if this chair is blocking. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to store this. Uh, it's okay if this chair is blocking the entrance. It's supposed to be a secret entrance. Anyway, there it is. Perfect little cushion. I'm pretty sure I can sit on it too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah, this will have to change because I want to sit down on a... Uh... Uh, table. I mean, sit down on a ch with a chair and play the thumb piano. Not sit down and on the floor and play a chump ch ch a chump piano. That's what I've always wanted to play a chump piano, a thumb piano.
I really hope this weather stops. Oh no, wait, what am I saying? I hope it doesn't stop because I, I really, you know what? There's a good side and a down, there's an upside and a downside to it raining. The upside is that, oh right, it's more likely that the Mahi Mahi is going to spawn. The downside is that there's another there's another fish that could possibly come out now that is like in the in the same size the coelacanth. Oh wait, I haven't been checking for the Manila clam. Look, I stopped for two seconds and I found a clam. I got wait, I gotta look for that fossil before we do anything. That fossil needs to be found. Right, I'm spending like a lot of time in this episode looking for a fossil. Wait a second, I gotta just put these other fossils down. And the reason I'm doing this is so I know which one of the fossils is um the one i've been looking for the whole this entire wait it's been there that entire time <sighs> well the reason i'm doing that is so i can know which one it is that i've been looking for for a long time to see if it was worth it or not <laughs> anyway it's how about we put it right in the top corner so so i know There we go, right in the top corner. You know what? I caught the... I, I mean, not caught. I got the last fossil I needed for today. It's time for a celebration. Oh yeah, do the mahi-mahi! Oops. Anyway, let's look for some mahi-mahis now. With three fishing bait. That's a big number, number three. Huge number. I'm just spamming my button right now. Look at this. <sighs> Wait, is that in the right? Oh. I just had to check something, sorry. Oh no, I don't know what to do in the thumbnail because I can't put the picture of a mahi-mahi unless I catch a mahi-mahi. So if it's a huge journey to catch a mahi-mahi, then I wouldn't have a thumbnail because I don't want to repeat thumbnails. I mean, like, if I catch a mahi-mahi and it's a huge journey, I won't have a thumbnail on the episode where I do. Whoa, that's a big fish. Not big enough, I don't think, but just in case. You, 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 like, with, with these pier fish, you gotta say just in case a lot. Because you don't want to miss out. Oh, now a flounder. It's... It's less op uh, often when you see a olive flounder than a sea bass, in my opinion. Anyway, I don't think we're going to be able to catch the mahi-mahi. Because of me getting distracted. Like, it's going to be so satisfying when I catch this mahi-mahi, because it's taking a while. It's also going to be really satisfying when I catch the giant trevally, but the giant trevally is supposed to be, like, one of the most common of the pier fish, so. Yeah. It's going to be really satisfying when I catch this mahi-mahi, because of, it's probably going to take way longer. Even if I spent, like, if I, even if I, you know what, I'm not going to, uh, like, do these manila clams off screen. I mean, like, 
it, it may, I th think of it this way. You get to watch my entire journey now, looking for this Mahi Mahi. The new horizon, like this is a new fish for the series and <laughs> it's good, it's a hard one. <laughs> Uh, I love the addition of fish bait, but I do not like the addition, I mean, like, I do not like the fish bait, like, exclusive fish, like that. True, they are not ex technically exclusive, but, like, good luck. <laughs> I say to you, good luck. If you want to find any of these fish without fish bait, good luck. Actually, I did that twice. Like, with a blue... Uh, actually, I think I did it three times, but it's it's really hard and really h hard. <laughs> Whatever. It's just like the mahi mahi. It's gonna be rare, and you you probably stand no chance against it if you plan not to do any fish bait. Hey, Peaches, I got some fish bait. Oh, she looked away. Come on. Oh, and I forgot to spam the A button. Ah. Alright, this is how you craft, make fish bait crafting easier. You do the mahi mahi. Oh, now she looked and she clapped, but I missed it because I was doing the mahi mahi. Oh, yeah. Ah, I saw it this time. She clapped. Okay, one more fish bait. I hope with this amount of fish bait, I'll at least be able to catch the giant Javali. I mean, it's very unlikely, but still, I hope. Ooh, that's that's a big fish, and it spawned next to the pier, which means that it is technically fish that spawned on the pier, even though it's next to the pier. But it's just a sea bass, so we'll never know if that was actually considered a pier fish. Definitely not. No Peruni. Not even close. Whoa, Biggie. Biggie guy. Mr. Biggie. Sea Bassy. Ooh, I got like an achievement probably for catching fish. And there is another biggie. It's definitely not one, but just in case. Anyway, that, any, I mean, for now, let's just get this achievement. Catch fish. Ooh. Hey, take a picture? I can easily do that. Like, they're giving out free Nook Miles for everything. Oops, I got rid of that emotion. Oops, I, I didn't, I did Okay. Uh, how do I? Um. Uh, I, I press this. Okay, tone. Boom, narrow. There is a picture, and there are some Nook Miles. Anyway, let's catch this fish. It's just been swimming back and forth, waiting to be caught. Ooh, a red snapper. I was actually expecting it was gonna be a red, red snapper. You know what, just because it's, just for its troubles, and just because it waited so long, you know what, red snapper, you're gonna be in the thumbnail. So I have a name of the episode. I mean, I have a name for the episode and I have a thumbnail for the episode. Woohoo, this was so productive. Anyway, um, let, let's go into the museum and donate our fossils. Hopefully this fossil 
was worth my troubles. Oh, I haven't even opened this. Whatever. Anyway, oh, wait, what was this again? All right, golden dishes. I'm pretty sure that's a te rare DIY because like all the gold stuff is pretty rare. Anyway, let's go into the museum and donate the fossils. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Wait, before we donate the fossils, I gotta do the Mahi Mahi again. Oh wait, this is it. This is it. I keep forgetting what the Mahi Mahi is. Anyway. Blathers, fossils oh, to be assessed. Oh, oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Jack. Welcome to the Jack Town Museum. I may be of service. Who? what would you like me to assess? I'm more a flatter. Please say there's something new. And a ple uh, please especially say that this one's new. So it's worth it. And, or at least it's a rare one. I would even be okay if it's a rare one and it's not new. Okay. Ooh, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. I found something that's not yet part of our Well, at least collect. we got something new. Hopefully it's the right... <laughs> The other one. This is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest of fossils. Now I do hope you'll consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Jack Town is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you, but think on what I have said. The museum awaits. Okay, let's donate. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Yeah, it's two! And one of them is the fossil I was doing! I mean, I was looking for for so long. A Demetrodon skull? I'm pretty sure that that is one of the only fo- I mean, like, that is the only multi-part fossil that I do not have one of. And now I do! Anyway, the T-Rex torso and the Iguanodon torso is our two honorable mentions here. <laughs> anyway, a Demetrodon skull. Hopefully, I, I, I don't know. Maybe we could have gotten one of these before, and it's not the one I'm thinking of, but I think it is. Could it be? It is a Demetrodon skull. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Demetrodon skull. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. So yes, please. I'm pretty sure this is a new multi-part fossil. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ah, yes, Demetrodon. Not actually a dinosaur, despite what some people may tell you. Oh, yes, this is new. We have at least one part from each multi-part dinosaur. Or whatever. Not Non-dinosaurs, too. Anyway, we have at least one part from every multi-part fossil. Yeah! This reptile, not dinosaur, oh. is most famous for the large sail-like organ on its back. Oh yes, this is the one I'm thinking of. And aren't dinosaurs reptiles? Huh. Said organ was likely useful in regulating its non-dinosaur body temperature. <laughs> Reptiles are known to be cold-blooded, but there is some debate as to whether dinosaurs were, too. Demetrodon assuredly was. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. Oh, yes, that's exciting. I hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Well, we may. I Any mean... Thanks to you, and best of luck. We may. I mean, this could be... This net other fossil could be the other part. Is there anything else I can help you with? Marvelous, what would you like to do? Oh, it's donate? another new one. So this is a Demetrodon torso! <laughs> We've gone to having no parts to having all the parts. Ooh, 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 could it be? It is a Demetrodon torso. Does this mean? <laughs> yes, it is done. The Demetrodon is complete and a splendid specimen indeed. The Demetrodon was a remarkable creature. Pray tell, might I enlighten you with a few facts? Just in case. Wonderful, it is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now let us begin. Ah, yes, Demetrodon, not actually a dinosaur, despite what some people may tell you. Yeah, this is definitely This reptile, thing. not dinosaur, is known to be the same set of organs and useful regulations on reptile, but reptiles are known to be Demetrodon, sure they must. And there you have it, fascinating stuff. No, rest and all donations are displayed in timely manner, you have my gratitude. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm fine. Very good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. Let's see our complete Demetrodon. 
or before non-existent Demetrodon and now complete Demetrodon. Oh, hello, Sky. So I'm pretty sure it's over here. Yes, there it is. The complete Demetrodon. <laughs> like before, we didn't even have a Demetrodon here, and now it's complete. Demetrodon. And then there's also that thing. So yeah, these are like the the creatures that live around lived around the dinosaurs' time, but not actually were dinosaurs. Anyway, <laughs> as Blathers told us. Anyway, what are you looking at, Sky? Be honest, I wouldn't be able to outrun a T-Rex if I started if, if if it started chasing after me. Would I? <laughs> oh wait, no, it was a, it was a different type of question. Be honest, be honest. Uh, whatever, just it was a different type of question. I read it wrong. Whatever. Anyway, oh look at those sharp teeth. Ah, oh, those sharp teeth are scary. Ah. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we will continue our search for the Mahi Mahi, and hopefully I will have enough scorpions in my pockets to, uh, when I go scorpion hunting tonight, to pay off my loan. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome. Wow, those teeth, they look really sharp. Ugh. Wow, those teeth. The, the t teeth. By the way, f future daddy, cut the first attempt out and cut this out. <laughs> I'm gonna put those both in. What?